Hi fellow content creators and welcome to my online course website and e-learning platform tutorial. My name is Robert and in this video series I will teach you how to start your online course website on WordPress with Nivi Pro and Lifter LMS. You will learn how to design your pages and then how to create your first online course step by step. This is something you can do on a new WordPress website, but you can start selling online courses on already running websites as well. If you are a beginner and just starting a new website, the first thing you need to get is a domain name plus hosting. And for that, I would recommend SiteGround, which is what I use for my personal and business projects. The startup plan of the managed WordPress hosting should be just fine for now, but remember that you are free to use any other hosting provider out there like Bluehost, A2 Hosting, HostGator and so on. I put all the links in the description box so you can check out the best price for you right now. You can get up to a 60% discount or even more sometimes. And remember that you will never pay more than the displayed price at the time you are watching this video and we will make a commission when you buy hosting through those links so everybody is happy. Buying a domain name and hosting is easy. Installing WordPress on SiteGround is very intuitive and once you are done with these steps your WordPress dashboard will look something like this. The first step I recommend doing is to change your permalinks settings from whatever it is right now to post name. Save your changes and then pick a WordPress theme which will give you a nice and ready to import online courses demo. I use Nivi Pro in this video which is made by Tmile and it comes with great features like the header and footer builder as well as a Lifter LMS Booster module, which allows you to customize the layout of your online courses page. So, first of all, let's go ahead and install the Nivi WordPress theme, which I've already done on my dashboard under Appearance Themes. Then you have to install and activate the Nivi Pro add-on. Before doing that, I would like to delete all unnecessary themes like 2020 and the plugins I won't use as well as the hello post over here and the sample page in the pages list. After that, upload the Nivi Pro plugin. Install and activate it by using the license key from your purchase history and you are all set. Once you're done with these steps, install and activate the Lifter LMS plugin, which will be your online courses and e-learning platform management system. I will show you more than just how to get started with this plugin, so keep watching. The first steps are easy. Click Get Started Now and pick your preferred settings in the next step, then click Save and continue to go to the next one, and so on. In the end, you can click Start from Scratch or install a sample course which could be a much easier way for you to understand how it works, I guess. So I'll go ahead with the second choice, which will bring me to the block editor of WordPress. Right here, I can change the content of the demo page, which is your online course sales page. This is the title of your course, followed by the description below, which I think I need to convert to blocks and the blocks below are the blocks of Lifter LMS. 
which you can see over here, and use on any page you want. Whenever you want to add things to your new course, or edit the content of existing courses, go to the document settings and click on Launch Course Builder over here. Then you need to click on Expand All to see the existing lessons, which you can easily set up by clicking on the gear icon over here. These are the general settings where you can add a video or audio links to your lessons. In these fields, change the permalink, the status of the lesson, and you can add an assignment as well as a quiz to each lesson. To edit the title, simply click on it and start typing. If you want to add new things or change something on your lessons, open the WordPress lesson editor by clicking on this W icon, which will open the block editor in a new window. Whenever you are ready to publish a lesson, turn on this button. An assignment and a quiz can be associated with any lessons in these tabs, where you can create a new quiz or add an existing one. Assignments work only if you buy the specific add-on, but the quiz feature is free and it works like the classic editor of WordPress with some additional features below. Before moving on, make sure the Lifter LMS Booster module is turned on under Neve Options in the Neve Pro Add-on tab. Then you can go ahead and import the online courses demo website, which you can find in the sites library of Neve and edit with your preferred page builder. My favorite one is Elementor. It will take less than a minute to import a demo and you will end up with a fully working e-learning website. Just click on View Website once the importing process is done and you will be redirected to the home page. As you can see, the home page comes with eight sections where you can display popular courses, some numbers, and testimonials, as well as a call to action that will redirect your visitors to the courses page, if it is set up correctly. The website demo comes with a blog page where you can do content marketing and get free traffic from Google. At some point in this video series, I will show you how to make the blog page look even better by using the blog booster of Nevi Pro, so stay tuned. Let's go back to our dashboard and click Add Your Own Content. This is the editor window of Elementor, which you can use to easily customize everything on this page and all other pages that are made with Elementor. For example, if you want to edit the big title on the hero section, just click on the text and then use the settings on the left to change the title, text color, typography style and size. as well as things like text shadow, motion effects and so on. The popular courses section is made out of four Elementor widgets, image, heading, star rating and a button. Feel free to change what you want and make it look unique. Everything is customizable below and you can add new sections as well, or new widgets according to your needs.
it seems that the Browse Courses button in the last section redirects to an unexisting page, but I can fix that right now. To do that, go to the Courses page, copy the link in the browser, and paste it in the link field of that button, like so. Now if I reload the page and test that button, it will open the Courses page as it should. I would recommend carefully checking the content and settings to make sure everything works correctly. To open that page in a new window, you need to access the link settings over here and check this box. Your e-learning platform design is almost done and you can go ahead to create your first online course. But before doing that, I would like to check some features and settings of the Lifter LMS plugin. As you can see on the left, you get these new menu elements on your dashboard. Lifter LMS, Courses, Membership, Engagements, and Orders. In the Lifter LMS menu, you can access the general settings, as well as settings for Courses, Membership, Accounts, Checkout, Engagements, Notifications, Integrations, and REST API. In the following video, I will show you how to create your first online course from scratch, set up everything and start selling your courses. Until then, feel free to customize the look of your pages and prepare the content for your courses and lessons. To change the header and footer of your website, exit Elementor and access the customizer of Nevi, where you need to go to the header builder. You can display up to three sections here, with elements like buttons, search form, primary menu, secondary menu, and so on. Then you can change the layout settings separately for each line with the possibility to stick your header section to top or show only on scroll. In the global header settings, you can turn off the show this header site wide and add a new header named courses, for example, and display a conditional header only when people navigate to the Courses page. This way you can separate your main menu from specific menus that you would like to display only on specific pages. The default header is what you see on the home page and all other pages that have no custom header set up in the customizer. But if you go to Courses, a different header will show up, which is the Courses header created earlier. You can create a separate header for your blog page, where you may want to display only the blog categories, for example, and nothing else. In the following video, I will show you more things about how to customize the aspect of your online course website and how to create a new online course from scratch. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when the video goes live. If the video promised is already published, you may see it as a suggested video on the screen right now. So just click on it and follow the instructions to get the best out of your e-learning platform. For more details and questions about Lyft or LMS, the Nevi WordPress team, or anything else related to online courses, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer each of you guys. Keep up the good work and see you in the next video. Cheers.